in this module uh, i have looked at what are the dispositions which are essential for success in the 21st century um, the point i'm trying to make here is that 21st century is very different from uh, 20th century in the 20th century uh, if you had a stockpile of knowledge i mean gathered through education and you had some basic cognitive skills you would get a decent job and you were pretty much set for life but in the 21st century simply because the knowledge is exploding at an exponential level uh, you can't acquire a finite set of knowledge and that think that that is adequate for success and moreover cheap and pervasive computing uh, has made traditional skills like memorization pretty much redundant and cheap and pervasive computing also means that analysis um, at least basic analysis is better done by machines and hence uh, human ability uh, that is valued is more towards uh, uh, deeper analysis uh, seeing relationships deriving insight uh, that becomes uh, a more important skill the main difference between uh, 20th century work and 21st century work is really that 20th century work was pretty much well defined it was rule based and routine i'm not saying all the jobs were like that i'm saying uh, by and large uh, most of the jobs were like that but in the 21st century the work is becoming more conceptual and complex so 20th century was um, more complicated let's say and complicated is something which is difficult to solve but has a unique solution uh, whereas complex is something which is not only difficult to solve it doesn't have a unique solution like chess and problems in 21st century are more complex whether it is career choices or uh, whether it is uh, climate change or poverty these are more complex problems they don't have a unique solution and hence the abilities uh, <coughs> required or the comp uh, the competencies required um, are are very different so my 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 key point here is that uh, because of the knowledge explosion in the 21st century uh, you there is a need to constantly reinvent yourself which is very different from uh, earlier times when where once you had a certain uh, level of knowledge in a domain and certain basic cognitive skills you were pretty set for life and in my opinion hence uh, there are certain dispositions which are important for success in in this uh, changed times or in 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 the 21st century and the first such disposition is uh, becoming a self directed learner because of the colossal amount of uh, uh, free resources free learning resources now available online it it is imperative that we know how how to learn ourselves and make use of these uh, resources whether it's uh, academic earth or whether it is uh, mit ocw whether it is khan academy whether it is ted uh, all these resources are there and we need to know how to make the most of this to keep uh, abreast of knowledge the second uh, disposition is the ability to synthesize and see relationships and i mean that we have to go beyond just simple analysis to seeing these relationships between unrelated uh, disciplines you know seeing those patterns and hence moving from information to insight and then you know having the ability to ideate and innovate to solve real world problems the third uh, disposition in my opinion is narrative skills and by that i mean multi sensory communication uh, simply because the tools to communicate in a, a multimedia manner uh, you know visual communication oral communication the the tools are becoming so cheap and pervasive that in addition to 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 knowing the art of storytelling we also need to know what uh, what are the tenets of multimedia uh, multi multimedia multi sensory communication the fourth uh, disposition is uh, ability to collaborate and this again is very different from uh, the, the model that education still follows uh, which is that you know it uh, the the education system tells you to to compete and to come first and uh, collaboration is so to say looked down upon because collaboration sort of Uh, uh you know uh, borders on 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 cheating and uh whereas the moment you enter the workforce you are asked to work together work as a team and in in today's world in today's uh, flat world and you know shrinking globe 
collaboration with a diverse set of people is becoming imperative and to collaborate with people who have a have a belief system which is different than yours who have a value system which is different from yours you need to be empathetic uh, in order to collaborate so in my opinion empathetic collaboration is another uh, very important disposition and finally i think the most important disposition is um, self understanding a deep understanding of emotions self image how to be compassionate and in 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 order to do that to to pursue goals which go beyond your self interest uh, and and i'm saying that beyond your self interest and by that i mean that you you need to look at your self interest but then go beyond that that is what lends meaning and purpose to life which is imperative uh, which which has always been imperative but even more so today because um, because that is what leads to well being and happiness so these are my thoughts on dispositions uh, essential for success in the 21st century and in the module i have looked at it in in greater depth um, and and take it as food for thought and and think more on it thank you so much